Would you look at that? I do not think I've seen a more beautiful cityscape at night than my own home city of Perth. In this video, guys, we're going to show you how to do more of an abstracted or an impressionist version of a cityscape painting, but we're going to be inspired by this stunning, glorious Perth cityscape at night. Coming up. Hi again there guys, Emma here from Paint and Pina giving you some top tips for all things art and design. And today we're going to look at how to paint a really simple but effective cityscape painting using a palette knife. Palette knives are something that people tend to get a little bit intimidated by. So if this is your first time using a palette knife, I will leave a link below with just some little top tips on how to get yourself more confident using the palette knife technique. All right, so as for this painting today, guys, I actually live in Perth, Western Australia, which is a really stunning, beautiful skyline. There's a bit of history behind it. We're actually known as the City of Lights for a couple of reasons. We have amazing reflections on an evening, especially when we get sunset, but we also were known as the City of Lights by the astronaut John Glenn. John Glenn, famous for being the first astronaut to orbit the Earth, actually referred to Perth as the City of Lights when he was flying over. I could see some lights down there in Australia, Gordo. Where are they from? Well, John, all of Perth and all of Rockingham have turned their lights on for you. The story goes that as he was orbiting the Earth, Australia was going to be dark. So they decided as a city that they would actually put all their lights on at night so that he would be able to see where he was when he passed the other side of the Earth. Obviously, it was an unknown back then. They didn't really have much communication, except for one small little satellite dish up near Mouche, which is north of here. There you go, a little bit of historical background for you guys, but it really is quite a spectacular city. So when you live somewhere as beautiful as this, how can you not produce a painting? Obviously, if you don't live somewhere that has this reflection, you can still produce a beautiful urban dynamic painting. You can always exaggerate the colors. So here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to produce this painting. So colors-wise with this painting, guys, we're simply going with the full range of primary colors and obviously the white and the black. And then we're just going to load up uh, the background here just simply using the palette knife. If you've never used palette knives before, they are really fantastic for distributing paint pretty quickly. And this is certainly a really good opportunity to just explore and, and play around with the type of techniques that you can do because we're simply just loading up the colour on the background. You'll notice I've got an element of blue in the middle as well. I'll come to that in a bit more detail in a moment. But for now, we're simply just really practicing distributing the paint. So you can see the blue I was talking about earlier, that's really just to give a bit of a contrast. Obviously we're doing a nighttime cityscape here, so there's going to be an element of light glow that's coming off the buildings. As you've seen, the buildings in Perth are astonishingly colourful and bright, and the reflections you get are really quite beautiful. Now it's really important that you let this background dry before you start working any detail on. So I'm just going to forward the video very quickly so you can see how it looks once it's gone matte. Now one of the other great tricks using a palette knife guys is you can get really effective straight lines. So you're just simply using the side of the blade and then just distributing the paint. And then that same technique we're going to use now just to drag the paint down to really start building up uh, the, the sort of the structure of the buildings but you'll notice I'm working on the reflections first I always prefer to do that because first of all if you're not so confident it gives you a bit more opportunity to practice the technique because it is the reflection so you get away with a few more errors than you would if you were doing the actual buildings but also it needs to have a little bit more of a shimmer so if I don't get the full distribution of paint at the beginning then it's obviously not as much a concern. You can see how I'm adding different colours of paint here as well. So I've used not just the yellow, but I've got white and a little hint of blue through there as well, just to really try and capture that dynamic range of colours that you get from the reflection of the buildings. Now 
Now because again this is reflections you don't need to worry so much about the actual edges of the buildings being too accurate. Some of these buildings have like, pylons and different structures on the top but again it is a reflection so you can get away with those edges a little bit more than you will in a moment when we do the actual cityscape. So again, one of the great versatile elements of using a palette knife is just the different types of strokes or techniques you can get just from the one blade. So you can see here, you know, there's a range of, of blending the colors in to those elements of detail at the edges but also again making sure that you keep a different range of colors going on. You don't want to have just block colors with these reflections. So now we're just gonna work on the actual buildings themselves. So again, a very similar technique in terms of dragging the paint up, but again, making sure that you've got a range of different colors going on. Because it is a black ground, a black background rather, you don't want to have too dark a color because you're not going to have it stand out as much as if it were, if it was a white background. So I've just got hints of white going through here, plus it gives that sense of the light coming from the buildings itself. people ask how should you hold a palette knife you'll notice I hold mine very much like I would a pencil and almost treat it like it is a pencil in terms of the sketching techniques you can do but it also means if you've got a bit of a looser grip you actually have more control over how um, whether you're using it as a flat blade or just using it for fine detail And of course the other great thing with palette knives is you can scrape away. So if you make any errors, you can always remove some of those pigments before you start adding extra colours on there. So this is just some red light detail that you get from one of our buildings here in Perth. And it's just nice to have that dynamic contrast against some of the darker buildings. Now this is more of an abstracted cityscape, so of course we're trying to build up the colours in a more dramatic way than they would more ordinarily look on the photograph but it's really just trying to give an impression of that sense of city of light. So the very dynamic, bold, strong colors that you get from all the reflections and the buildings themselves. You know, for me, painting is all about interpretation. I used to be very much a photographic painter when I was younger, really trying to perfect or, or practice the perfect painting, as it were, to get that, that element of photographic imagery when I was painting. But now I much prefer this style of just giving that impression of what you see. At the end of the day, you can go out and take a photograph and make the perfect picture. So then why try and paint in the perfect picture? That's how I look at it. So I'm really trying to capture the essence of the painting rather than the exact image that you can see through the lens. So we're just going to add some finishing details here guys. So it's the same technique all the way through. Just working these smaller buildings on the edges. And again, making sure you've got that range of colors on your palette knife so that you're not just having black colors. And 
and there you have it. So there you have it guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video on how to produce this really simple but effective palette knife cityscape painting. If you have enjoyed the video then please hit that like button just below as it really does help our channel. We do do regular weekly videos for top tips for all things art and design. So if you're interested in getting some more top tips, please hit that subscription button just below where we do upload weekly videos. Alrighty guys, we look forward to seeing you back here next time. Bye.